Hello YouTube, it's DGK Designs here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on module flares. Now before I start this tutorial, I want to give a big thanks to my friend Peter, also known as Pulse Designs, for animating the bottom for me. And uh, you can check him out in the YouTube description below. So as you guys can tell, this uh, tutorial is going to be on module flares. Now there's a couple ways to do module flares. Uh, there's the way that Chrome Designs has been teaching everybody how to do it. And now I found another way to do it. And a lot of people have seen it on the Vesta 9 background. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to be playing around with the uh, styles of the, uh, <clears throat> of the box here. So this is going to be our module right here. And we're going to add the flares to it. Now I already have some weird uh, stuff already put on because it just saves it from when I apply a shape. But basically what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your layer styles and you're going to want to go to stroke and then go to the fill type and put it onto gradient. Now you're gonna want the position on the outside and you're gonna want it on around like three. And the opacity at 100, blending mode normal. Now we're gonna double click the gradient and here's where you're gonna choose the colors. So I'm gonna put black on the sides and then in the middle you're gonna choose the color that you want the flare. So for this demonstration I'm gonna be using blue. Okay, so you can see it made the uh, sort of like a flare look. Just, uh, oh, I added another one by accident. I'm just going to delete that. Alright, there we go. I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, it already has applied the uh, flare for us. And I'm just going to make the black, the background, not black round, background black. And as you can see, it has added the flares, or the module flares, right on there. As simple as that. Now, um, this is easier to do than the Chrome Designs way, but I'm going to be showing you guys the Chrome Designs way in this tutorial. And uh, I also forgot to mention that the song playing in the background is uh, by a friend named Crazy Beats, and he is from Germany and he makes a lot of good beats. He only has 422 subscribers, but 52 like YouTube videos of beats, so go check him out. Link will also be in the description below. Alright, so I'm going to basically take off the effects for this module here. And the way to do it the Chrome Designs way is basically we're going to have to go to the line tool and we're going to put the line tool throughout the module. We're going to hold shift so it stays straight. Alright, so now that we have the line tool straight, basically uh, we go back to the layer styles and we use the outer glow. And we're going to make our color that we want, so I'm going to use blue again and just make the opacity at 100. I'm going to use normal so you can actually see it. Spread up a bit, size up a bit. All right. And I'm going to apply the black. And as you can see, the line was, the uh, flare was sort of made. And we're going to put it above. Now I made it really uh, thick so you guys can see it. And I'm going to take this off. And now what you're going to do is you want to go to your eraser tool and we're going to put the uh, hardness at a low hardness like zero percent or maybe just I'll put it at like a three and you could choose a decent sized um, <coughs> decent sized brush to erase it with. I'm gonna use one of the feather brushes and you're gonna rasterize the type of the line and you're gonna erase it from where you want it. Alright so with this method that Chrome Designs uses it's uh, obviously more of a uh, more of a shine to it and it's a bit more thick. You can also add an inner glow that will be white just to get it a bit more, you know. Actually, I, I use like a lighter blue for this inner glow. All right, there you go. So with the Chrome Designs way, you, much, you get it much brighter and you have more control over it, but it's not as easy as just applying the, uh, the stroke gradient. So you guys can use either way, or you could use both of them together. As you can see, it makes a really nice effect if you use both of them together. So this has been the tutorial on how to make module flares, and I hope you guys like this tutorial, and uh, talk to you guys next time. See you.